Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're talking about the top three timed heroes in Taiji Panda Heroes. Uh, this is my opinion like always, so always keep that in mind. I'm going to rank them first to number three, two, and one. The guys that are a fan of my videos probably know already what I am going to pick for number one. Um, and obviously Xuxi here is going to be number three. Um, number two, I guess maybe some of you guys don't know that yet. First, we're going to start off with the ranking, then we're going to take a look at them individually, and then a little bit of comparison and discussion about each hero after that. So at number three, we have Xuxi. Just a quick special note about her is that she does have six different skills. Normally, she is a ranged fighter with a ranged normal attack, a ranged skill here. This one's more of an area of effect attack. But the really interesting thing about X is that when you get full rage, you can transform into a different hero here, and then you are more melee type but still have a lot of range going on because of how big the area there is you, you can see. Looks very powerful these skills. And so yeah, that is Xiuxi at number 3. At number 2 we have Sun Wukong. His normal attack is very quick, but unless he is in God's Rage or God Mode or whatever it's called, he won't have very long range, so just his pulls length here. And he has some skills uh, where he dashes forward, and what really makes Wukong special is, of course, his ultimate skill here. He transforms here, and then you can see here, very, very long range, very, very powerful attack, and also his other skills have added effects on them as well. The other special thing about Sun Wukong is the fact that you can have magic or physical gear on him, it doesn't matter. As you can see from this icon here, he can have both uh, physical and magic weapons. He is the only hero that can do this, and maybe that alone might warrant his spot there, because you can make a lot of different combinations. I mean, I haven't checked too much to see how different the magic is from the physical, to see if you can even boost some stats higher than possible with just physical or just magic, like crit damage or crit rate, but that would be interesting to test that out. Might give that a go. So, and then, of course, at number one, we have Blue Jack. Surprise, surprise. Blue Jack is by far my favorite hero. Um, just his second skill here, when you go into gun mode, is so freaking powerful. It is insanely strong. Not only is it insanely strong, but it has a 4 second cooldown. That means you can almost non-stop spam it. You honestly almost never actually need to use his normal attack. You can go to this skill, hit that, and then there's like 1 second left. So you can get like 1 or 2 normal skills in there, but he is so freaking strong. And he has an additional health bar. It's not very big, but you can see it here. This must be a percentage of your total health, but one interesting thing is that I was in Sand Valley, and I got hit by the claw, and under almost every circumstance, that is a one-hit KO, no matter if you're at full health or whatever. It barely broke through my gun shield here, this little health bar below his actual health bar, and it was only at about half. So while that doesn't really say much for the strength of the HP shield there, because I assume it goes on a percentage of health rather than actual damage, this special move in Sand Valley, but that is a really awesome way to avoid getting killed there. So now a little bit more about each hero, their pros, their cons, where they maybe should be, if they're better as a main hero, as a sub-hero, stuff like that. So, we're gonna start with Blue Jack since we have him here, and I know most about him anyway. The thing that makes Blue Jack really up is his gun mode. I, I believe this. His normal set of skills aren't really all that impressive, they're pretty basic, they're pretty average, but these not only are extremely powerful, have extremely low cooldowns, but they're also ranged, and they fire very quickly. So this is a huge thing for a hero in my opinion. The bad thing is when you're fighting someone of equal strength, your shield will go away very fast and then you're just left with these skills. They're pretty average, there's nothing special about them. The second skill here does deal quite a bit of damage, but again, it has a twice as long cooldown. And the first skill here is also just pretty average, so... So what really makes Blue Jack awesome is his gun mode, no doubt about that. One other con about Blue Jack is I heard... So the hero knight, right here... Knight can counter Blue Jack easily. So when Blue Jack becomes a popular main hero, then Knights will be there to counter it. I don't know exactly what the strategy was, but it's one of these skills and then just normal attacking and it and it's basically GG. I don't know why it's like that, but I heard even a purple knight can beat an orange jack 
uh, tier, I'm talking about tier now, because of some strategy. I mean, I'm sure all heroes have a counter hero, but I just thought I should get that out there. I, I don't know what Wukong's or Xuxi's counter heroes are, haven't heard anything about that. Mainly heard this about Bluejack because Bluejack on the Chinese servers is a popular timed hero as a main hero. Or maybe was, maybe it's night now, I have no idea. But anyway, yeah, that is Bluejack. So Wukong and Bluejack are actually pretty similar in nature. They start off as melee types with not very long range. They both have a dashing forward sort of skill like that and also an ultimate which changes basically the entire hero. He becomes pretty much ranged. I mean, look at that. Also, his skills are much stronger and have some added effects to them. Also, I want to thank Bruto here for helping me out with the idea of making this video and also having a bit of discussion with him about it, how I should do it and such because I was a little bit stumped for ideas and he helped me there a bit. So to be perfectly honest, I don't know too much about Wukong. I was playing with him when he first came out and he just seems up, especially this God's Mode here. The difference between him and Jack though is that the time you are in the second mode, in the transform mode, is different. Wukong's will always be a set time. As you can see there, there's the there's the transformation time. It won't ever be more or less than that. But with Blue Jack, it could be much shorter or much longer. If you're really good at running away and keeping your distance and sort of kiting in a sense, you could keep the gun mode for quite a while. But if you just go in there, guns blazing, literally, then they can all run up to you, smash your shield, and then you're left without any bullets. But yeah, the main pro to Wukong is that he can have both physical and magic gear, making the possibilities of gear sets much more than any other hero, so I think that is really interesting about Wukong. I don't really have much things to say about his cons though, because I haven't heard much about Wukong yet. <laughs> There's a little bit of a story behind this. While I was making my son Wukong video, Celtic invited me to uh, Crystal Valley, and we completely lost, mainly because I was a Wukong with no gear on, with level 1, and she got a little bit mad because I went in with Wukong, and I was like, oh shit, sorry about that, and, and then she invited me again just now, and I'm like, you don't want to go with me because I'm Wukong again. <laughs> From what I've seen of the doppelganger uh, on his rare skill, it's definitely nothing interesting, nothing all that good. It may have to do with Wukong's own strength, how this doppelganger works. It doesn't say in the description, but I guess that's like that. Maybe the doppelganger word would be a lot more impressive when the Wukong would be a lot stronger, but from what I saw, it's not really impressive, so I guess I can count that as a con. But anyway, moving on to Xiuxi. So X was like the first hero with really another whole set of skills from the timed heroes. And that obviously is a big perk. The bad thing with this is, and I guess I'll count that as a con, is you do need full rage uh, to activate that. And I think that since that transform is a very big part of what makes her very strong, I will consider that a con. I'm pretty sure she starts out with like 500. I'm not sure if it's different in PvP. But you can get rage pretty quickly from this first skill here. As you can see, 800, 850, 900, 950 and maybe even more if those dudes wouldn't have died. But once you do get to a thousand, then you'll have a little opportunity there uh, to switch, and then you actually need to get full rage again before a certain time. I think there's like a cooldown on that, not totally sure how it works, but then you have access to an entire new set of skills. Looks like you get a bit of a speed boost as well. If you can transform in the middle of a PvP or something, then the enemy is pretty much toast if they're not a lot stronger than you, because this mode is very powerful. So yeah, that is X. Main pro again is the awesome transformation, but the main con is getting there. 1000 rage, and it seems like when you do actually get 1000 rage, it only appears there for a second, so you have to be quick. So let's check that out now, gonna get 1000 there. After a while, or after like a couple of seconds, it goes back to the uh, normal third skill, where it's just another attack, and then you have to get below a thousand and then go back to a thousand to reactivate that. So it's a little bit weird actually getting to that transformation phase, but once you get there, and they're not just running away, I think it's GG most of the time. So now a little bit of discussion. In the case of Tai Chi Panda Heroes, I think even if you have a lot of money to spend, so real world money, you really should still only go for one timed hero, because to get them to max, which I don't know, it's at least orange plus one right now, it, it'll probably be higher in the future, it'll take a lot of diamonds. 
I mean, maybe two timed heroes, one as a sidekick would be cool too, but for the most players, one timed hero. And I would probably say pretty much all of the timed heroes deserve the main hero spot. But if there was one timed hero that I would say probably would be okay as a sub hero also, it's Blue Jack because his rare skill is so awesome. You are not only immune to parry break, but you will deflect 50% of the parry break to the attacker. So let's say for example you're in Crystal Valley, there's a guy on the shell, you use Blue Jack's rare skill, he is done parry breaking you and he is just parry breaking himself. Okay, that is awesome. So just for that rare skill alone, I think Blue Jack would be cool as a sub-hero also. The other two timed heroes rare skills aren't really interesting enough to keep them as a side hero, I think. So if you're going to have Xuxi or Wukong, I would recommend keeping them as the main hero. So yeah, that'll be it for this video. I'm sorry, I know it sounded really messy. I honestly had no idea really how to structure this video. I did try my best, and hopefully I can edit something in there to make it feel more cleaner than it really is, but I really didn't know how exactly to, to form this. I mean, I could have done it something like, my top five heroes non-timed video where, where I just focus on one hero after the other but I kind of wanted to visit all three heroes on different occasions a few times what sort of platform do you guys prefer because I think I actually prefer the one after the other it makes it simpler but maybe it's less interesting or maybe you guys are missing something from that I don't know some so some feedback would be nice if you are still watching this till the end you are one of the true MOBAs I don't know if that's a compliment or not, take it as you will. If you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like down below, it really helps out. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time.